This is the StarCraft2Forum.org Mega PC Tournament presented by our sponsors, NVIDIA, Patriot Memory, Razor, Antac, and the Shocks StarCraft 2 Guide. Right, so we are on to game two with Lazy versus Wannabe Killed. Yep. This takes place on Desert Oasis, so let's jump right into the game. Uh, Lazy just pu really purely outplaying Wannabe Killed in the first game. Yeah, he was just a powerful Protoss. Um, and Wannabe Killed starting in the southern spot. Um, on this map, though, uh, Wannabe Killed really, it seems like his favorite build is going for the Void Ray build. And yeah. on, on a map like Desert Oasis, uh, that That's could gonna, actually work in his pa in his favor. Absolutely, it's gonna it's very strong on this map. A lot of players don't like this map. I'm I don't know how I feel about it, but it definitely does favor um, air rushes um, and air cheese basically. Just because um, it is such a long walk around to the bases, and this gap right here between the two bases, it is the fastest route. So uh, you so often see void ray rushes and any kind of um air cheese essentially on this map which is usually why even if i'm not able to get a scout in on this map yeah i'll even if i'm not building defenses for it i'll just have a couple of things ready right. like right in this area just to make sure nothing's coming in and for those of you who don't know this map it's uh one of the longest walking distance on any 1v1 maps um, and because the one 1v1 map you don't even need to scout your opponent to cheese them you know exactly where they start you have to walk out the top. You have to walk out one side of your base and then go all the way around yeah. the entire map, essentially, to get to your opponent's entrance to their main base. But the distance by air between the two bases is just incredibly short, um, which is why it's so, it favors um, a you know a Stargate rush or a Void Ray rush that sort of build. But oh, want to be killed going against everything I said. He's <laughs> he's like my rebellious child. Yeah. When I say Void Rays, he says no, Guns Akimbo. I'm going. Double gateway, and maybe he's gonna fly those uh, zealots over the cliff. And <laughs> an early scout by um, by Lazy actually able to see the double gateway of his opponent, and uh, so that's that's always an important thing. Gateway count is so critical in PvP. It's very important that you that you match your opponent's gateways, which is exactly um, what Lazy is doing right, right here. And. Still no gas down for either player, so it looks like maybe we are going to see Zealot Heavy. But we do have a Chrono Boost on a Zealot uh, with a rally point of directly to his opponent's, opponent's ramp. Yes. So, and this is a really, really bad call on this map because, again, that uh, walking distance is so long that by the time one Zealot gets there, Lazy could have three to four Zealots out. Right. A much stronger choice on this map that we see a lot is, is just a straight up, if you want to rush with Zealots, a straight up proxy gateway, or even a sort of proxy pylon that comes a little later uh, after Warp Gate's researched. Exactly. On a map like this, uh, so often do we see proxy pylons. Uh, so often, like fa locations like this are favored. You just yeah. easily overlook it. Very so, close to the main base, but not on the normal walking pattern to the other base. And it, it makes it so important on this map to always be scouting, just to even have a probe or a spare unit walking around to all those weird yeah. locations. Just put them on a patrol route between all those weird locations that you know someone could hide yeah, in. there's a lot of tricky spots on this map. But um, again... But look at this. This one zealot of I want to be killed coming up, and three zealots already out. That's exactly why you don't want to rush this way, because it is such a long walking distance. That one zealot is not going to stand a chance He's against the He's being greeted. Three. Yeah. And nice micro by Lazy, pulling back his injured his injured units, um, and the zealot of want to be killed is just going to have to retreat. And these shields regenerate so quickly on these zealots, so all that little bit of damage will be healed up for the next battle. Right. Both players matching each other's build orders pretty exactly. Um, both now getting the, their cybernetics cores and their assimilators. With Lazy a little bit in the lead. With La his... Yeah, Lazy's a little bit ahead of, ahead in the build order. Um, but uh, overall, uh, very similar. It seems like they're going for essentially the same thing. But Wanna Be Killed still just uh, chrono spending all his chrono boost on these zealots. Really wants to try to break this front. And but now we have four zealots from Wanna Be Killed going up against the five zealots of Lazy. Still quite a lead for Lazy. Six zealots for Lazy. And this is the kind of push that, you know, if you are confident in your ability of You sometimes will even let it get up there. 
I'm sorry. Is that what you were going to say? No, no. I'm, I was going to say if you're confident in your ability, in your micro ring ability, this is the kind of thing that maybe you'd risk. But really, this is such a risky. And now move we see and six elts for six elts. This is an even fight now. Um, this is all going to be up to. Oh, and now one more zelt coming out for Lazy. That's going to really tip the scales in his uh, favor. Yeah, and he's going to dominantly force the his opponent back. It's very, it's very always good to fight with your zealots at the top of ramp, having them form a concave surround around the units of your opponent, especially on like a zealot versus zealot battle, um, giving your units more surface area to strike than your opponents. Now I do see a star, a uh, void ray coming out for lazy. Uh, here it is, the stargate up there. Yeah. So it looks like um, lazy going to use this uh, air distance to his advantage, knowing that currently. Um, all that Wanna Be Killed has is Zealots out yeah. on the map. Yeah, he sees that Wanna Be Killed went for a Zealot push. Um, he's probably assuming that that was his, his primary tactic, uh, was a sort of Zealot all-in. Um, he's lost uh, quite a few Zealots now and is probably behind economically. So now's a perfect time to follow up with this sort of Void Ray push across the map. And I like his, even like his Stargate positioning, it's hidden in a, like a really smart place on this map. So right behind those minerals. And so we have Lazy pushing out with both a Void Ray and his Zealots to come at the front to try to snipe off any sentries or stalkers that right. may and pop out. Right, and this is going to force the, the enemy to be split between their front and their back. Those Zealots are going to be able to do nothing against that Void Ray. He is going to need... Stalkers in order to fight that Void Ray, and uh, oh, I want to be killed, not killed, even a GG. Leaving without a uh, GG. Sorry, that was a quick, quick game. And it's funny yeah. how um, it's funny how want to be killed will leave rudely against the Void Ray, but he was so willing to use Void Rays against all of his opponents. Oh, you know, it's a tournament. It's frustrating. Yeah, the tensions are high, and obviously these players are a little bit new to uh, tournament play. It's the first Starcraft two tournament. Um, still, you know, it was uh. I'm Ooh, sure nice gave to see a GG a GG. later on. Yeah. Um, anyway, congratulations to Lazy. Um, I'm very impressed by his play. He's. I uh, hope to see him with a good showing in the finals. Exactly. And uh, we will be seeing Wanna Be Killed um, in the losers bracket of the semifinals. So yeah, competing have one for more third chance. place. And 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 one thing to note is all of these final 